Hi guys, this is Rack and Load. Just had a bit of a plinking session uh, out in the sticks here. Now, this was a video request um, by one of the subscribers and I thought, what a damn good idea. Uh, and something that I haven't really yet touched on in uh, videos, but it's something I always carry with me, especially when I'm uh, sort of out there shooting, so to speak. Not necessarily at the range, although pretty good idea to take one to the range. It is first aid kit. Okay, now I'll show you what I've done here. Now, first of all, guys, this is not a first aid training video. I'm not gonna tell you how to do stuff, how to patch people up or anything. I'm just gonna show you what I carry. Now, you've seen the videos when we do run and gun and stuff like that. We've always got a first aid kit kit with us um, obviously we're not intending on shooting each other by accident uh, accidents do happen I get that you know um, I, I haven't got any stats but I'm sure uh, there are quite a lot of accidents with people accidentally getting shot um, but uh, this is mainly just a, a simple first aid kit for you know if you cut yourself uh, or burns I suppose you could get burns shooting um, insect bites that sort of stuff it's just you know a basic first aid kit i say basic i've got a few pretty good things in here um that you probably wouldn't find in a in a first aid kit but first of all guys you haven't got to spend a fortune on one of these now this is an old ammo uh, dumpy bag that i've got here um you know it's uh get these army surplus um this was one that I actually used in a uh, used for airsoft when I used to play a lot of airsoft surplus to requirements. I thought, you know what, this will do as a first aid kit to take to the range, you know, uh, even just to keep in your car or whatever. And then at least when you travel to the range, you've got it with you. But let's show you what I've got inside this thing now. Let me just get everything out. I'll just have to switch the camera off a so. second. Okay then guys, right, I've just got everything out. So, like I said, ammo dumpy bag, absolutely ideal. You know, don't cost much, perfect. You can keep plenty of stuff in there. And like you can see here, plenty of stuff is kept in there. Now, first of all, what I do is I'll get these little tubs. Now, if you eat a lot of Chinese foods, you'll uh, see these tubs that you get your food delivered in. These things are perfect for a first aid kit. So next time you have a Chinese or an Indian or whatever and you get one of these tubs and you want to make yourself a first aid kit, save the tubs, wash them out because these things are pretty watertight. I think that has actually got remnants of curry there. But anyway, now what I do with uh, my first aid kits, pretty much, um, as you can see, label them. I have the most sort of common thing at the top. And the beauty with these things is they fit in an ammo dumpy bag absolutely bang on okay sort of made made to measure with room to spare kind of now as you can see this one is bleeding now guys you're gonna laugh because i know what you you can see in there but it is pretty pretty good idea to have these in a the first aid kit especially if you're a shooter and that is lady things okay i'm not going to go into too much detail but lady things. Now, worst case scenario, if you're shooting, what's the worst possible thing that could happen? Or especially if you're hunting or something, you get you get shot. That could be the worst, well, that what probably would be the worst thing that could happen. These things are absolutely amazing for plugging, I should choose my words carefully on here, for stopping bleeding, okay? Um, especially puncture wounds, gunshot wounds. These things will do the job fantastically. Now, I've been on a, a shooting first aid course, a shooting sports specific first aid course a um, couple of years ago. And it was uh, those people that told me about always keep some of these in your shooting bag. You know, it's one of them things that I guess you'd use um, you know, absolutely worst case scenario. 
uh, but it's worth just keeping some in there. Anyway, let's move move away from uh, ladies' tampons. Uh, <laughs> but what else have we got in here? Now, like I said, this is the tub for bleeding. Obviously, plasters, this, that, and the other. Uh, loads of different sizes of plasters. You know, you can get this stuff off uh, from your local chemist or Amazon, stuff like that. I've also got these um, these things as well. I've come across these somewhere, I can't remember where it was. Probably my previous job. Um, Tegaderm, I think that's how you say it. Um, these things pr really are sort of watertight. Good bits of kit. Dressings, like I said. Um, plasters, whatever you want to call them. Band-Aids, if you're in the States. Uh, I've got some wound seal here. Uh, this stuff uh, is literally it uh, will stop bleeding instantly like it says on the packet um you know from laceration stuff like that you know i've cut myself loads when i've been out in the field you know especially if you're using knives if you're hunting um ideal thing to carry loads of plasters this stuff you know um it's all lightweight stuff simple stuff that you, you may as well chuck in because especially if you're traveling somewhere to do you know, I enjoy a good day shooting and then something happens, something goes wrong, you know, no matter how minor or, you know, big time, you can hopefully resolve it. Um, obviously, if something goes down that's really disastrous, then you probably won't. But at least, you know, you stand a fighting chance with having a bit of kit on you. It's all about preparedness, isn't it, guys? This next one, um, I've got... Um, sort of bandages in here, um, bigger bandages, bigger plasters, uh, self-explanatory really. Um, this one I've got uh, stuff for burns. Um, hopefully you ain't gonna get sort of burnt while you're shooting, but it's all right guys, I'm trying to open this one and uh, This stuff is pretty cool to have. You can get this stuff off Amazon. Um, water gel, it's basically like a sachet. Um, with some stuff on it that if you burn yourself you basically just tear this open put the sachet on and uh, squeeze all the juice that's in the packet all over it absolutely brilliant stuff I believe the this is actually a military one um, they do actually use these in the field um, you know military uh, medics and stuff um, obviously burns are pretty common in sort of wartime uh, or you know combat situations and apparently this stuff is uh, pretty damn good. Um, like I said earlier, the the medical training that I, I had, first aid training, the shooting specific, shooting sports specific first aid training, it was actually two paratroopers that were taking that course. And they were basically, you know, telling us how to deal with stuff like what they've de dealt with in, you know, Iraq, uh, Afghanistan, that sort of stuff. And I think, in fact, they dished these out, so I um, forget the name of the company that I've uh, that done like that, that with. It's quite quite good, though, it's some medical company. And then I've got more stuff in here for burns, um, burns soother. Now, everything you can see here, guys, before I sort of go any further, I've got basically a duplicate of this at home in a first aid kit. Uh, you know, I've got two kids, um, you know, very young kids, it's worth keeping this sort of stuff at home, you know. I know this is a shooting channel, but I'm pretty big on first aid. Um, you know, it's always good to have. And like I said, if you're out hunting, you're out in the middle of nowhere shooting, like what I am, especially if you're on your own, you know, something goes down or whatever, uh, you need you need to be able to sort it on your own, don't you? And then you can hopefully then carry on with a good day shooting rather than you know having to go home or whatever or worse. I mean, what's worse than going home? You know, when you're out shooting, especially going home early, that's just just bad. Anyway, I've got another tub here with what I call meds. Um, yeah, like I said, if it goes down, then carry something that uh, can hopefully <laughs> sort that um always worth having you know i'll say no more on that one uh what have i got here i don't know what these are oh and i did extra painkillers you know 
you hungover or anything, another um, diarrhea relief stuff there. Tube of Savlon. Why not? Worth having. And then in this one, I've just got uh, bits and pieces actually. It's almost like a survival kit rather than a first aid kit. This is. Um, yeah, this is this is a good idea to have. Little mirror. So say hello, guys. That's you there. Um, little mirror. Get something in your eye. Always worth having. Hand gel. More Savlon in there. Scissors, nail scissors. Uh, I've got a face shield there. Eye wash, that's another good one. Keeping your first aid kit. Now I know there's quite a lot of stuff in here. You know, guys will be like, oh, I don't need to lug all that in with me. I have enough stuff to carry when I'm out shooting. Yeah, totally get that. And if you're a YouTuber, you probably have twice as much stuff to carry as well, what with cameras and uh, stuff like that. So tripods and whatnot. But this is just literally a requested video and I thought it's a damn good idea, you know. Um, first aid kit for when you're shooting. Like I said, this is a bit, well, I wouldn't say extreme, but you know, if you can carry it with you and it doesn't bother you, a little bit of extra weight, you know, in a, you could probably do a smaller one to be fair. I, to be honest, this probably is a little bit big, but this thing was doing nothing. And these tubs, from the Chinese um, outlet, do the job, and I thought, well, you know what, if you're gonna take it with you, you may as well just fill it up, you know, and then you've got it. Um, what else we got in here? I've got a survival blanket. Would you ever need that in a first aid kit? Uh, probably not, but, you know, it weighs nothing. There's room to chuck it in. Rubber gloves, uh, more sort of swabs there, triangular bandage. Uh, I've got a knife as well, CRKT, uh, I think it's, I um, forget the name of it now, uh, it's a good one though anyway, it's emergency, emergency knife I think, what the, whatever they call it, forget what they call it now, can't close it one handed and I'm not going to attempt to even though I've got a first aid kit here, um, but pretty, pretty good idea having a sharp knife with you as well, uh, just in case you need to dig anything out so to speak. Well, that's it guys, just a you know, little video on what you should take. I mean, there's probably stuff that I don't need there, but you never know, do you? You just never know. Um, let me know what you think. I'm sure there might be uh, guys watching this that know a lot more than me about this sort of stuff. Uh, any suggestions, what, I've, what else I need in this kit, but I think I've pretty much covered everything. Um, just a good idea guys, you know, if you're going to be carrying a big range bag and you've got the room for it, throw in a little first aid kit, it can save you a lot of hassle, a lot of grief, um, you know, and it can de-ruin your day shooting if you uh, have a bit of a mishap, uh, hopefully not a major mishap. But anyway guys, that is it, just thought I'd throw this one out. Um, request this is a video request and i thought it is a damn good one but uh, definitely definitely worth having a first aid kit with you especially if you're hunting uh, in fact probably mandatory if you're out hunting um, especially if you're on your own anyway that's it guys stay safe safe shooting that's rack and load see ya